Hi, this is Jane from the Ford Library, and today I'm showing you how to use SDC Platinum. If you are unfamiliar with SDC, know that it is a powerful source containing separate databases for mergers and acquisitions, global new issues or IPOs, municipal bonds, corporate governance, infrastructure finance, and private equity. The first thing you need to do is register for LSEG Workspace in order to use SDC. So go to the Ford Library page, select Databases, A to Z List, then drop down to LSEG Workspace in order to start the registration process. On the LSEG Workspace landing page, uh, the first thing I'd like you to do is take a look at the database terms. And then once you've done that, go ahead and click self-register and select your add-ons. So I would suggest besides getting the SDC add-on, you also get the AMR, which are the investment bank reports. A lot of times people don't realize that they'd like those as well. And then click start registration. You're going to go to the LSEG website and when you're in there, it's going to ask you what you're registering for. I would suggest you also register for the desktop software version. It makes uh, things a lot easier when you search. So now let's actually start to search SDC Platinum. Go back to Databases, A to Z List, and drop down to LSEG. Click User Login, Connect and Login and add your username and password. Once in, you arrive on your own home page. I have selected a search home page. You can also go in and select another type. So if you're interested in, say, commodities, you could select commodities. And once that loads, go over to the upper right-hand corner of the page, click the ellipsis, and set as home. Having returned to my home page, I'm going to go up to the top bar, search bar, and type in SDC, which should pull up SDC Platinum. And then select it to arrive on the page for SDC Platinum. Once in, I'm going to click New Session to start our search, and you'll see the different databases that are available. We've got Global New Issues with a description of it, Mergers and Acquisitions, uh, Private Equity is down there. Today, we're going to take a look at Mergers and Acquisitions, so I'm going to go ahead and select it, and then click Next. Now we're at our search page. One thing I'd like you to notice is that this data goes back to 1961. So that is mergers and acquisitions back to 61 to the present. You can edit this date range, but it is not necessary. Next, we're going to take a look at our data item library. This is how you actually construct your search. So we can either start typing in something here or if you look over, you'll see that there are over 1,700 items within your ability to search. You can also filter this by advisor or deal info or financials. Otherwise, if you know exactly what you want to search on, you can just start typing it in here. And I want to search industry first. Note there are a number of different selections for industry. I'm going to select industry sector. And by going over to this box on the right, when I put my cursor in, you'll see that it populates with those industries. I'm going to select Food and Kindred Products, Done, click Add. It doesn't look like anything's there, but it is. And notice up here we have that added to our search. Next, I want to drop back down to my Data Item Library. And I want to look for a companies who have used a poison pill defense. So if I just start typing in poison, 
I can drop down and select defensive poison pill. This is a flag, so if you want that to be true, you can say it equals true, that they did use it. If you don't want that, you could say false. You don't want that added. And it populates again up in our search. Now we're wondering what do we do next. This has not searched. It's just created the search. So you're going to go here to this word execute and click it. And that actually allows you to take an action. Anytime you see that execute is available and you want to run your search, click it. So at this point, you'll notice our search is run and we have 19 companies that pass our test. Now we have our search run and we want to be able to look at the results. So go up to output and notice you've got different uh, selections, report, league tables, volume analysis. I've just selected uh, the tear sheet. Let me bring this down so you can see it. And this takes each company one by one or each deal one by one and allows you to take a look at it. And you can see up here at the top, there's a way that you can click through and look at each of these. I'm just going to close this out and now we're back at our search and we're going to report new custom, meaning we're going to create our own report. We're going to see these results as we'd like to see them. So again, it looks pretty much like our search screen and again, really deep uh, in terms of the number of items that you can churn out in your report, over 2,000. So I'm just going to do something simple with the target name. And much like our search, you go in and you add that. And follow that up with acquirer name. So let's get that typed in and added. And the last thing I think I want is just the deal synopsis. So tell me what that deal looked like. We have our report items. And again, let's come up here and see what we need to do. It said go to the next screen. And like our search screen, once we get it, it's like I would like to see what's there. So there's our friend execute. Click it. And now we can view those results. Notice over here that you can export this to Excel. Uh, you can print it out. You can also, I think, save it as a PDF. So I'm going to click Excel, export as values. And we can take a look at that from here. Closing this out, I am going to show you quickly just how you sign out. Click up in our search bar, type out and then you're successfully signed out. If you have questions regarding this or other resources available from the Ford Library, please contact us by chat, phone, or email.